Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to run Python code in Excel using the new advanced data analysis feature in Copilot. This feature can help you perform data cleaning, generate powerful data visualizations and dashboards, and build powerful machine learning models all inside of Excel. It's like having a full team of data analysts or data scientists working inside your spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and dive in. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed. I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I've taught over half a million students worldwide. And on this channel, I help you learn Copilot, AI, AI agents, and large language models in a simple, easy, and fun way. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so here we have two sample data sets that I would like to share with you. The first one is regarding employees. Here we have information about our employees, like their age, for example, their years of experience. We also here have the salary information, the salary column. And the idea here is I wanted to build machine learning models directly inside of Excel using AI, or of course, using Microsoft Copilot. So to do that, well, you can go ahead and enable Microsoft Copilot. And please note that you need to turn on autosave to be able to run Microsoft Copilot inside of Excel. So here I'm going to say, please go ahead, save that. And once that is up and running, now you should be able to see here on the right hand side in a pane where you can use Microsoft Copilot inside of Excel to generate formulas, to understand or summarize the data. You can also use it to run advanced data analysis, and that's simply the topic of our today's video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, could you please start our advanced analysis? So if you go ahead and click on it, it's going to tell you, well, are you sure you want to do that? I'm going to say, sure, you can either start the advanced analysis tool, or you can say, start with Think Deeper. So the idea here with Think Deeper is you can have an advanced model running behind the scenes and that model will gonna have high reasoning ability okay so let's start with the basic one the simple one first i'm gonna say just start and what you find right now is an amazing feature where a python code that is being generated on the fly and being executed as well inside of excel so here we go so now you should be able to see a python code that is being generated so if you actually click on that arrow here pointing downwards let me show you if you go up still of course executing so if you click on that you should be able to see here our our python code and the idea here is that basically what copilot did is was able to read that data in excel put it in a pandas data frame and that's what you see in here and was able to basically run all the different data visualizations on it so if you keep scrolling down you should be able to see here an analysis here kind of a simple dashboard that has been created for us showing you here all the average salary by department, the average salary by job level, and so on. And what I could do is I can go ahead and say, well, I would like to first create a dashboard containing five data visualizations in Python. So let's wait and see what kind of five data visualizations Copilot is going to choose for us. So here we go. So now you should be able to see a five data visuals that has been created. You should be able to see here as well, for example, the employee count by education level. So you see here, if you actually slightly make it slightly bigger. And if you can say, of course, add the result into the sheet and you should be able to see the results here has been added. So now you can read it much better. So for example, you can see employee count by education level. So here, for example, we have the master's degree, we have bachelor's and so on. So you'll find PhDs kind of smaller number here. And you should be able to see as well here, the job level two, junior, senior, manager, and so on. All right, so the next feature that I would like to share with you is the ability to start our Microsoft Copilot and also start the advanced data analysis tool running behind the scenes with Think Deeper. So think of it as now you have an upgraded large language model or an upgraded AI model running behind the scenes for us. So I'm going to say, well, start with Think Deeper. And please note that I had to close the entire notebook and actually open it again. If you are enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you can hit the like button. It's totally free and it helps us a lot. And if you like to go deeper, please go ahead and join our AI community. You can find a link in the description below. It's a great place to connect, ask questions, and learn from others. As a bonus, when you sign up, 
I will share all the data and also the prompts that we used in today's demo. All right, so what you notice is that Microsoft Copilot was able to come up with a plan, basically. So here, all I've done is I started the advanced data analysis tool and I enabled the Think Deeper feature. And here you should be able to see the data has been read in what we call it a pandas data frame. And then afterwards, this is the plan for data analysis for us. So Copilot is going to first perform data overview and quality checks. It's going to do descriptive statistics and EDA or exploratory data analysis. It's going to do grouped analysis. It's going to do or study the correlation and relationships between features. It's also going to generate a summary as well for the results and the analysis here. So if you keep scrolling down, you should be able to see here kind of all the analysis that is being conducted. And if you are interested to see what the code that is being generated, if you can just click here, view analysis, here you should be able to see, for example, a core function, correlation basically, that has been ran here on the data and all the correlations between features, for example. So there is a strong positive correlation between the age and salary information as an example, which makes sense. As people tend to get older, they tend to have more experience and they tend to have higher salary as well. And should be able to see here as well some of the outliers in the data. What you could do next is you can use the advanced data analysis tool to build machine learning models. Let me show you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, could you please go ahead and I want you to build a machine learning model for us to predict salary information. And here I'm going to enable as well the Think Deeper. All right. So what you see right now is the advanced data analysis tool in Python was able to come up with a plan as well. So here it said, OK, well, I'm going to first do data exploration and pre-processing. I'm going to normalize the data, scale it. I'm going to do feature engineering as well or feature selection. I'm going to split the data to training to train our model. And then once the model is trained, I'm going to evaluate its performance and then I'm going to train our model here and then it's going to start with a linear regression and maybe try a bit of advanced models and then it's going to evaluate the model perform tuning and validation and then generate a summary for us and here we go so now we should be able to see a code that is being generated and if you haven't done python in the past don't worry well you don't of course it's good to have a background around it but well you can use these artificial intelligence models to help you generate code and you need to fully understand from a very high level what is actually going on how we are splitting the data what are the tasks and so on but you don't really need to write the code initially from the start by yourself so what you see right now is was able to basically reuse a scikit learn library it was able to split the data to training and testing and you should be able to see here if you scroll down this is the train test split that has been used to split the data and after you do that, if you keep going, what you notice has, as well here, which is something really interesting, is that there is an error that occurred, but the tool didn't break down. It was able to kind of come back and was able to fix its issue here. So it's telling you there is a Python error that occurred. An error is because of this reason. It was able to go and continue the analysis. How incredible is that? Let's keep going. So here it was able to train a machine learning regression model. So if you go up, you will see a linear regression model that has been generated here for you. And it was able to kind of extract that an instance, basically an object here out of our class, it was able to fit our data. And if you scroll down, you should be able to see all the different metrics such as mean absolute error, mean squared error, and root mean squared error as well. Pretty amazing. What you could do as well is you can go ahead and say, well, maybe I would like to try a different model. So I'm going to say, could you please train a random forest regression model, regression model instead, regression model. And let's go ahead and run it. So instead of using just a simple linear regression model, now I'm going to use a bit of an advanced model. All right. So here we go. Now you should be able to see Microsoft Copilot was able to train a bit of an advanced machine learning model, which is a random forest regression model and was able to achieve here a, an error, which is much lower compared to before, was able to also achieve a coefficient of determination or R squared of 0.9, which is quite high and acceptable here. And it's even explaining to you here what it did behind the scenes. Okay, what I could do is I can go ahead and ask it, could you please predict for me or plot the predicted versus the actual salary information? So let's go ahead and run it. So now I'd like to compare what the machine learning model predicted 
versus what actually happened in real life. And here we go. Now you should be able to see this is the testing uh, data points. And this is the model, which is pretty good, I would say, pretty acceptable. And finally, what I would like to do is I would like to show you how to plot the, what we call it, feature importance graph. So I'm gonna say, could you please plot the feature importance plot? And now I should be able to see which of the features, which of the inputs have the highest impact on the output. And here we go. Now I should be able to see age is one of the top features that impact salary information. We also have the years of experience as well, which kind of makes sense, of course. And then we have the location too. People in San Francisco tend to have higher salaries compared to others. We also see, for example, education and so on. And with that, that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's it. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I've got a ton of content coming out your way. And don't forget to join our community where you can grab all the data and the prompts that we use in today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.